and I found like the relationships were just so much stronger. Uh, the times I had were like so much better, and then I re this is when I realized that the whole, most of the whole dating industry is a lot of dog shit. bit of context about what we're doing here the idea is um at the moment our role models around us are really people that are showing they have success but in reality they haven't done the hard yards and they don't actually show you the struggle along the way so a, a lot of the people in this room have successes and competencies and what they've done but it's more about the journey and what we're trying to achieve so that, that's what we're trying to explain here and, and we've got a special guest here we've got Hayden uh, and Aiden obviously will tell you a bit about him, but it's quite a unique uh, sort of industry. So keep your mind open, but it's the dating industry and, and, and the struggles that young men face. And it's, as men, we, we have this harden up complex, so we, we really want to um, present a certain style and, and, and always feel like we're doing the right thing. But un underneath, we're really not, not as okay as we think or as what we convey. So this, that's the theme of this uh, podcast, is really inner trauma. Um, and that's why we're quite fortunate to have Hayden here. So we'll just start off with Hayden and just, just explain a little bit about like yourself and your journey and uh, your experience. Hmm. Yeah, so the, the first point I would say is that when I was around like 20 22 23 like i got <coughs> right into like success with women so i got right into dating uh, i looked up rsd a number of these other companies and it went really really hard for like a year and a half and i actually i had um i did i did reasonably well of it um but what actually happened i realized over time is that nothing was really permanently changing like the changes i had were very surface level i could go and i could fake being confident for a while like you know what i mean like i could I could present this image to people and um, over over time like after doing that for a year and a half it became like more and more and more like a, like a chore for him to, to try and like follow the dating advice and act alpha and act this and be this and act this and it kind of became like quite an effort to to present like to actually go out and meet girls because you had to like try and remember all these things and 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 like manage your behavior and like you know, deal with like that the like suppressing all the feelings like you might be like feeling anxious or you're feeling like annoyed at a girl who's being rude to you but you're like oh i'm i'm meant to be calm now or whatever whatever the 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 pickup uh, dating pickup advice conditioning was like i you had to try and follow it right and you'd try all sorts of different models to try and like yeah present like this image to, to get the girl and sometimes you would get the girls um but then what you'd find is like then you've got to try and hold this image as you keep seeing them <laughs> So like, you know, like the first day, like if you made like, it's drunk, fun night out, momentum, like you managed to have a good vibe or whatever and you, and you bring a girl home and you're like, oh sweet, all my like tactics and, and shit is working. But then you've got to like hold this image with the girl because you presented this to her mm. from the beginning. So you've then got to like sustain this impossible image like day after day after day after day. Um, and yeah, so I, I ended up like com getting completely sick of like going out and meeting girls and stuff and then actually exited. I got a girlfriend and then just went into business for a few years. And then at the start of this year, I traveled to to Europe to, to work with another company or well, do their course that looked the other way around rather than like adding shit on, like to get good with girls, they looked at taking shit off. So they go like, they find all the, the traumas and um you know, beliefs that are like holding you back internally and they look to find them, identify them and then like give you a whole lot of strategies to start like removing them. Mm. So it's like the complete opposite approach. And I did this at the start of, uh, what was it, in July this year. And um, luckily I think I had done like a whole lot of meditation before going in. Mm. I had done like a, a 10 day meditation course and stuff. And I did this course and then like it completely changed my life and I and like, I then got like the dating life that I like dreamed of, you know, mm -hmm. like seeing many beautiful girls in Europe, you know, and, and they stuck around and I didn't have to like present something I wasn't. And it was just like, it was, it was like relationships built on like vulnerability, honesty, um, and like being your authentic self, um, which, which also includes like expressing all the negative emotions as well. Like if you're annoyed at someone, or, you know what I mean? It's like being as real as you possibly can with like yeah. all the emotions. Mm -hmm. And I found like the relationships were just so much stronger. Uh, the times I had were like so much better and then I this is when I realized that a lot, most of the whole dating industry is a load of dog shit 
and it's teaching people things that don't actually create the real long-term success that they actually want. It's kind of like the superficial, like, you know, um, instant gratification type yeah. goal, you know, rather than like something that's like really like long-term and, and really core and permanent, you know. Um, so that's when I realized that and then for then after that like I did really well I was one of like the best students I've ever had in terms of like changes in terms of like I guess results or having bringing girls into your life and um, so then I actually went on with them and traveled with them and became a coach with them for like six months so then I got to see like all the guys coming in and all their problems and all their childhood traumas and how much all those things are impacting their, all the interactions of girls and then see the change between like once we had like identified and removed a lot of these traumas, like the results that directly happened like straight away. So I could really see a lot of the patterns around how trauma and childhood trauma like fucks you up mm. big time with women and like you can yeah, it, it blocks you from like having something that's completely natural. Um, yeah. 